time a Staatspolizei. What are you doing in Rouen? I'm trying to find some relatives. At Bertel's garage? I wanted to hire a bicycle. And did you hire one? No. No, he said he had none. It took him a very long time to tell you that. He's a talkative man. You'll come with us. Ali. Violet, you mustn't take us for fools. Are you going to go on refusing to answer my questions? I refuse to tell you anything. I should be honored to be your... Violet. Others before you have taken the same attitude. But not for long. She was just an ordinary girl who came from an ordinary home. There appeared no hint in her youthful days of the heroic role which fate was to thrust upon her. We're doing everything we can to make things as difficult for the Germans as we can, in every way that we can, from blowing up their troop trains to uh, putting chalk in their ink. We need liaison people. The Germans don't like what we're doing. They don't like it at all. In certain circumstances, they react violently and brutally. She left her home and the child she loved for training to fight the most deadly sort of war. But even so stern and dangerous a purpose could not repress her buoyant sense of humor. Never leave yourselves undefended! But, like others of her day, her gay high spirits concealed her steadfast courage. And suddenly here you are in the middle of the night with your little suitcase pottering off in a tiny unarmed aircraft to fight the German army all by yourself. Her name is a name that is carved with pride on the history of our time. Her heroic courage played its part in the destiny of mankind. Oh, God! We must get over the river. Oh, God! It's my ankle! I'll carry you. Oh, don't be a damn fool. You've got to get back, I promise. I'm not taking you here, no. Run, run, for God's sake, run! 